Typically, when people think about exercising to unwind, they think about letting off steam, going for a long run, sprinting up a hill, lifting some heavy weights, hitting a punch bag, any of those things. We are going to be talking about something called postural restoration science, which is the school of thought that correlates how your body moves with how you feel. My name is Luke Worthington. I am the elite trainer here at Third Space in Soho in London. If I implement some of these techniques into my daily life, it improves recovery from training, sleep quality, sleep duration, but more importantly, to have a greater quality of life. So the first exercise, I want you to grab hold of a bar or a pillar and stand about an arm's length away from it. Feet together, drop all the way down into a deep squat. Feel your calves against your hamstrings, your abdomen against your thighs. And then you're going to take a deep breath in through your nose and a long, strong exhale through your mouth. Every time you take a breath out, you should be exhaling a little bit more. You should feel a little bit more air leave your body, which means that every time you inhale, you can get a little bit closer to achieving a 360 degree expansion. So you should be breathing into your abdomen, feeling your belly press against your thighs, into your side ribs and into your back with every breath. Second exercise, I want you to lie on your back on the floor, place your feet up against the wall, so a 90 degree bend at your hips and at your knees, pop a towel between your legs just to stop your knees separating. I want you to take a deep breath in through your nose and this time as you exhale you're trying to reach your fingertips towards the ceiling. As you reach your fingertips towards the ceiling I want you to feel your hamstrings engage and I want you to feel your rib cage, so the back of your body, pushing down and into the floor. So position number three, you're going to take a long seated position on the floor. Hold yourself up by pressing your heels down into the floor so your hamstrings activate. And support yourself by using the muscles in the front of your body, so your abs. And same thing, you're going to breathe in through your nose, trying to fill your back and your sides and your abdomen with air. Long, strong exhale, and this time reaching your fingertips as far forwards as you can. As you reach forwards, at the same time, try and push your rib cage to the back of the room. The fourth position, I want you standing up. Stand about a foot length away from a wall. Adopt a semi-squat position so that your hips and your lower back are touching the wall. Don't lean on the wall. Support yourself with your abdominal muscles and your hamstrings. Reach your fingertips towards the floor about a meter in front of your feet. Again, take a deep breath in through your nose. Feel your rib cage expanding. Exhale long and hard. Use your abdominal muscles. As you exhale, reach your fingertips towards the floor. This whole sequence should take you no more than 8 to 10 minutes and can easily fit into your everyday routine.